Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor Loren, for those that don't know. Today I wanted to bring you guys a collective haul featuring black owned and women owned brands. If you guys see me looking at my phone, it's because I have things written down in my notes, so I apologize, I just don't wanna mess anything up. Okay, without further ado, let's jump into it. We're gonna get started with accessories. For the first accessory that I want to show you guys, it is from the designer Mary Homage. My good friend told me about the brand and I love her bag, so I had to support her and cop it. This is the Indigo Large Tote. It comes like this. The dust bag, it also has her face on the sticker. It's this pretty green color. This is the large size. It also comes in a mini. And then when I was looking into her brand, I saw she has this sort of burnt orange color. If I can find a picture, I would probably leave it here. It is like the perfect fall color bag. And if she ever restocks it, I'm definitely gonna get it. Look at it, it has this perfect sheen to it. It's really different. I haven't really seen anyone making bags like this, so I was really excited and I definitely wanted to support her. There are a lot of women actually killing it out here, so we definitely have to support each other and make sure we spend our money with the designers that are actually making the hot things that we're wearing that larger brands are actually ripping off. The next thing I was able to pick up was... That's just a stupid boulder! It's not just a boulder! A tell feezy, a tell feezy, bitch, a tell feezy. And I got two. Once or twice a year, I don't know, but earlier this year, um, Telfar, he did the bag security. I don't know what the program is called. I'm going to list it here so you guys know. He did that, and I got two bags. I wanted to get more colors, but I was like, you know what? Let me get a medium and a small to see if I really like the bag. I decided to get a yellow in the small and the medium in an orange color. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. This is how they come. So I haven't worn these bags yet. I actually received them in August. I pay for the bags in March. I got them towards the end of August. I know people started to get their bags in July and then I know they stopped shipping them in September. So I'm pretty sure everyone that did that program was able to get their bags by the end of summer. This is the first one I got. This is the yellow color, super small. I don't know what I'm gonna put in here. I'm not really a purse girl, but I like totes. So I felt like this is like a tote for me. You know, it's just... This is my medium Telfar bag. I have not carried it. I definitely plan on carrying it sometime soon before winter. The next thing I picked up is from a Chicago-based designer named Brittany Simone on Instagram, and her brand name is Yacor. She is a black female designer here in Chicago, so I definitely had to support her. She makes these really cool trucker hats. I love the design on it. It's very youthful, joyful. I, ve I like it. It's very simple and clean. I love that she doesn't use the foam rim on here. So it's a really nice hat. I love it. She is a really big stylist here in Chicago. I love her brand. She also has other items, not just the trucker hats. And I, I don't think the yellow one is in stock currently, but if it is, I'll leave it list below. But she has so many other colors. They are so fun. I know she did a neon collection for the summer. So I'm excited to see what colorway she brings out for the fall with these cute little smileys on them. It's very different than the basic standard smiley face that everyone used. So I like her spin on it. Super fun, super youthful, very cute. I like the yellow. This hat is awesome. Go get it. Go support her brand. I love her. Brittany is amazing. And go spend your money with her. 
For our next designer, it is going to be my good friend, Ron Louie. He is a black designer based here in Chicago. He actually gifted me these canary yellow Air Force Ones in collaboration with the brand GRCH. It is a Japanese owned brand. He did a collaboration with them and created a custom Air Force One. So that was super cool. I know he's also really known for his Glacier Air Force Ones. He does it in the highs, mids, and low tops. I know the yellow ones are not in stock currently and I apologize for that, but the blue ones are in stock and they're so cool. I love them. These, on the other hand, I don't think he's restocking these, but this is what it looks like. It comes with this in the box. So this is the first thing you see when you open it. And then take it and it comes in this bag. Can we just talk about how amazing this is? Look, please. This is what the shoe looks like. I got a four and a half in boys. This color, it's it has a kiss of yellow. You know it's not an all white Air Force One, which I appreciate. He has the perfect amount of dye in the shoe where the shoe still holds its integrity. The leather doesn't look warp. It doesn't look like it lost any of its shape. The next item from Ron is his bubble jacket. I'm gonna grab it. This is the RL cropped bubble jacket in the black colorway it also comes in orange i know this jacket is available online on congruent space so i will have the link listed below and i also have the other website where you can find ron's items sorry guys my camera cut off i don't remember what i was saying but this jacket also comes in an orange colorway cropped. I love it. I know you guys will love it. I'm excited to wear it for the winter. Okay guys, next item on the list. This one was gifted from my boyfriend. He got me a Travis Scott tee from the Travis Scott Cactus Jack for Fragment collaboration. This is the Harushi. Harushi. I don't know how to say it. Hopefully it's Hirushi T. I like it, super cool. This is a size medium and it fits me perfect. So some of the shirts are medium and they're huge and some of them fit me and I'm a size small. I like to get men's shirts in a size small, but this medium fits just like the small. So I love it and I'm gonna wear it. And I just dropped my water bottle. Next we have our last black owned women of color brand it is sl society by sean lily she is a model on instagram she has her own youtube channel and recently she changed her previous brand that was sl studios to sl society and she has a whole video on the her process and how she created SL Society and what it stands for. She had her first drop and I wasn't able to get anything because she is UK based and I'm here in the States. And your girl just wasn't up to get anything and everything sold out. And yeah, poor me for thinking everything was gonna be available for me when I woke up 12 hours later. But I got, I subscribed to her drop list and I saw that her green hoodies restocked and I was able to get my hands on it. This is the green hoodie from SL Society. It's a green oversized hoodie but the green that she used reminds me of the Bottega green that has been so popular this summer. All of the designers and all of the fast fashion brands have been using this green. It's so vibrant. I purchased this hoodie in a size medium definitely should have ordered a small because she is one to love is super oversized hoodie i've seen her hoodie collection she has a great hoodie collection i should have known when this girl said oversized it's gonna be oversized i did not need to buy a medium it fits me a little bit too big but i still love the size and how big it is on me it's like i'm wearing my boyfriend's hoodies so you know it works out she also has other items 
on her website. I know she has another drop coming up soon. I know it's going to be this hoodie, but in black. I don't know if she's restocking this green. If she does, I'll definitely be getting another one. So, and probably giving the medium away. The next item that I picked up is from the brand Pangaea. I actually didn't look up the name of the owner, so I'll just leave her name here. I know this brand has received some backlash because of the owner. I don't care to get into that. But I know it is a women-owned brand. I genuinely like the brand and I like the product. So I supported it and I got a Pangaea 365 hoodie in the cobalt blue color. I like the material. It's a nice hoodie. It's nice and thick. I like, I like the cut. I've never had a hoodie that had the pockets on the side. So that was really cool for me. So I like the pocket placement. There's nothing really else for me to say about this brand. I just really like the hoodie. I want it to purchase the hoodie before I purchase the sweatpants just to ensure that I like the quality of them. I'm definitely going to get sweatpants and a different color hoodie from this brand. The last brand that I have to show you guys today is a women owned brand by Emily Olberg. It's called Sporty and Rich. I love her. I was following her journey when she worked for Complex. She eventually left Complex and created her own brand called Sporty and Rich. And when I tell you this is the only aesthetic that I want to live by, it's the only aesthetic I want to live by. I just want to be in cute sportswear and be rich. I think she really wrapped it up in, what, in the aesthetic that I want to have. So, but I am wearing her crew neck now in chocolate and cream. It's really soft. I love the material. It's a lightweight hoodie. I wouldn't say it's too thin, but it's not on the thicker side like the SL Society hoodie. It's more of a lightweight hoodie. I really like it. I love the tone of brown that she used for this collection. I also have another hoodie from a different collection. It's the Fun Logo hoodie and the Dandelion in white colorway in a size small. It is a lightweight hoodie and the hood is really nice it's really the hood is actually thicker than the actual body of the hoodie which is kind of weird but i still like it just a basic standard hoodie it has the fun logo here on the chest nothing else too crazy about it i did grab two tees from other collection i grabbed the exercise often t-shirt it says sporty and rich on the chest and on the back it says sporty and rich athletic club i think that is super cool the last shirt that i got from her previous collection was the drink more water tea in red it also comes in gray on the front it says sporty and rich and on the back it says drink more water drink your water and mind your business I feel like that's my favorite thing to say. So why not let other people know to drink some more water? When you're drinking your water, minding your business, you know, you're not in any drama. So drink your water, mind your business, wash your face, use sunscreen. Why wouldn't you want to support that brand? I love the entire aesthetic of Sporty and Rich. It's the only aesthetic that I want to live by. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this collective haul. Please don't forget to give it a like and share to any of your friends if you want to. I don't really have much else to say. I'm not going to hold you guys. Go check out the brands that I've listed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I know you want me. Every day not only when you're lonely, yeah You see you think you know me But you don't even know nothing about me, yeah You see my thick thigh Plus when you look into my brown eye You see my lips always give me a switch side You never know the devil in a disguise So why don't you stand up, baby? Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me